group of amateur athletes have decided that running a marathon isn't really a challenge. So they've decided to take on the deepest, darkest, and possibly one of the hottest marathons ever in a North Yorkshire mine. Five workers at Bowlby near Whitby will run at a depth of 3,000 feet in a mine where the temperature often hits 40 degrees. Pleased to say we can speak uh, to some of those taking part in this mad escapade. Uh, Scott Garnett, Sally Orange and Rob Smalling. Guys, lovely to see you this morning. Um, let's see where should we start in this. Scott, why don't you tell me, what on earth possessed you? <laughs> Good morning, Neil. Um, we had a conversation. I met Sally at a, a trade show, and, and she's done a number of marathons around the world and in extraordinary places. And I, I asked if she's ever run underground. Um, and she said no. So we have the deepest mine in Europe, the, the only mine in the world that mines polyhalides. And we thought we'd try and set something up that was um, to set a Guinness World Record. We try and do that. That was the whole idea, just over a cup of coffee, believe it or not. Um, Sally, how confident are you that everyone is going to get through this entirely unscathed? Yeah, absolutely confident. We're, we're working together, and that's the, the main theme of this, is to, to work together. It doesn't matter. We're, we're not looking to be the fastest. Um, none of us are the fittest, but we're going to give it our best, and uh, we'll definitely, definitely make it. But we'll be going at the pace of the slowest runner, um, but it's just getting to, to the end. It will be dark, as you say. In fact, listening to you talking about it there makes us feel quite nervous. Um, but, but that's the challenge, and, and that's why we're doing it, because... It is a challenge like mental health um, and being beneath the surface, you, you don't really know what's going on in somebody else's mind. Uh, and that's that's where the thought of all this came from, really. Um, Rob, give us an idea. How on earth do you train for this? Because, um, well, aside, obviously, from sweating it out in the mine all day. Uh, it's pretty tricky, really. You can't really recreate the conditions you're going to get underground. It's very hot, very humid, dusty. Um, all we've been trying to do is wear extra layers, really recreate that body temperature we're going to get to and just try and get the miles in, really. Um, that's all I've been trying to do, as well as a lot of the other guys. So uh, it's going to be a totally unique experience for all of us in general. So it's, it's going to be a fun one, I think. Mm. Um, OK, then, Scott, I, I have to ask, at uh, this mine, uh, the only polyhalite... What on earth is poly... What, what do you mind there? Because I can't pronounce it, let alone know what it is. Uh, polyhalite is a, a crystalline rock that we use as a fertiliser. Um, um, we, call, we call it polysulfate. And we, we're the only mine in the world that mines it, and we sell it all over the world. We ship it everywhere from Brazil, apples and so in China, to cereals and oilseed rape in the UK and potato. So it goes on numerous different crops. But, yeah, it's exclusive to the UK as, as a mine, yeah. Do you know, I, I, learn, I, le I certainly learn something new every day. I learn some, it I'm learning something new every hour on this programme at the moment. Sally, let's just have a final word for you. Tell us a little bit more then about the, about the charities that are going to be benefiting from all of this. So yeah, there's three three charities, Young Minds, um, which looks at uh, children's, young people's mental health, SAFA, um, which is the armed forces, which is a lot of armed forces personnel, a lot of, lot of the minors are veterans, uh, myself, I'm a veteran and struggle with, with mental health, um, and another one, Frontline Children, which is um, about inspiring hope for, for children in war and conflict. So three very, very um, important charities, and as I say, getting the message across that we really want to break down the stigma of of mental health um you know the, the miners work in these conditions all the time and so being beneath the surface as i say is really quite fitting of what goes on in different people's minds yeah well as my, as my producer just said in my ear you couldn't go much further uh, to try and reduce the stigma surrounding surrounding mental health than going three thousand feet down to run a marathon um rob you've spoken the least so i'm fully expecting you to come out and talk in terms of timing uh, rob sally scott <laughs> i'm afraid we're gonna have to leave it there but look best of luck with it and well done Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Bye-bye.